Hi guys and welcome back to the HTP podcast with your host Mr. HTP. We're going to be continuing our reading from Khalil Gibran's The Prophet. And today we're going to be reading the chapters on marriage and on children. Then Almatra spoke again and said, And what of marriage, master? And he answered saying, You were born together? And together you shall be for evermore. You shall be together when the white wings of death scatter your days. Ah, you shall be together even in the silent memory of God. But let there be spaces in your togetherness, and let the winds of the heavens dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together, and be joyous, but let each one of you be alone. For even as the strings of a lute are alone, they quither with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. And a woman who held a babe against her bosom said, Speak to us of children. And he said, Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts, for they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls, for their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow, which you cannot visit, not even in your dreams. You may strive to be like them, but seek not to make them like you. For life goes not backward, nor tarries with yesterday. You are the bows from which your children, as living arrows, are sent forth. The archer sees the mark upon the path of the infinite, and he bends you with his might, that his arrow may go swift and far. Let your bending in the archer's hand be for gladness, For even as he loves the arrow that flies, so he also loves the bow that is stable.